Hello everyone. Thank you for joining this presentation today. It feels great to meet you all virtually. This session is about how we integrated Alberta OneCall and CityWorks using CityWorks API and FME. My name is Bhanu Vedula and I am a GIS developer with the city of Airdrie. Airdrie is a vibrant city just 20 minutes north of Calgary with a population of over 70,000. It's a great place to live with small town feel and yet big city amenities. The agenda for this session is as follows. We will discuss a little bit around the background of this project, our challenges, objectives to measure success, the solution we came up with and some tips that helped us along the way. Many of you are familiar with click before you take services when you planted a tree, built a fence, etc. Alberta OneCall is a regional not-for-profit organization that offers click-before-you-dig communication services to all Albertans who intend to disturb the ground. The request to have buried facilities identified prior to an excavation is called a locates request and the member of OneCall is notified when such a request comes in and are required to mark their underground infrastructure free of charge. The city is a member of one call and is mandated by legislation to respond to a locate request within three business days. With new development, the volume of the tickets increased significantly. Here are some of our challenges. Prior to adopting CityWorks as the asset management software, the locate tickets were manually entered into the system. The sheer volume of tickets up to 500 per month is just overwhelming and an administrative burden to the business unit. With only one locator, the efficiency and planning aspect of day-to-day -day work is heavily compromised. The city recognized the need for automating this workflow, and since we had FME desktop licenses already, the next logical step was to acquire FME server. The solution consists of two FME workspaces, one to create a service request and one to generate a customer report. The workspace uses CityWorks REST API calls to create the service request without manual intervention. An FME server to orchestrate all this in the background. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It's a way to communicate between applications. CityWorks REST API is one such API that facilitates creation of service requests, inspections and work orders programmatically via HTTP requests. API calls are HTTP URL REST endpoints where data is exchanged via JSON, a lightweight data exchange format. The syntax of JSON looks like a dictionary of key value pairs. Here is a HTTP request with JSON data and the response is also in JSON, which can be parsed and extracted. This is the workflow of the solution. FME server has a publication that monitors emails via IMAP protocol, notifies a topic, and that triggers a workspace to create a service request in CityWorks. And when the works activity is completed and the service request is closed, a webhook triggers a topic on FME server that triggers a workspace to create the customer report and email it. Here is a screenshot of the email with XML and image attachments. On the right, you have the IMAP protocol settings on FME server. Let's take a look at the first workspace. The workspace is logically organized into bookmarks. And the first section of the workspace has a JSON reader that gets the message from the topic. Next, we have two feature readers, one for XML and one for the image. This section of the workspace involves reading the XML tags and mapping them to the CityWorks request template. A vertex creator creates geometry from the latitude and longitude fields and is further projected to NAD83, the coordinate system used by CityWorks to geocode. A Python caller has a code snippet to split the name field to first name and last name. An attribute manager to mark the to map the custom fields in the template. A JSON templater puts together all the attributes as key value pairs to make the request. We use the CityWorks 
custom transformer to authenticate to CityWorks and retrieve a token. The token retrieved is used in subsequent HTTP calls like this one here, which is a create call to create the service request. A JSON extractor is used to extract the request ID and then merged using a feature merger to attach the image. An add attachment call adds the image to the service request and an update service request call updates the resolution code to required, thus notifying the locator of a new ticket. Let's go back to our presentation. So the result of the workspace is a service request created with the image attached. This brings us to the second part of the workflow where a detailed report of the work activity is generated automatically and emailed to the customer when a service request is closed. To accomplish this, we use webhook functionality in CityWorks. Webhooks are more like API. They allow CityWorks to communicate with third-party applications. They are event-driven, meaning it gets triggered when new data becomes available versus constant polling. There are two components to Action Manager, Action Event, and an Action Template. Action Template determines what makes up for the body of the message that is sent. Here, you can see the JSON payload is the request ID. And the action event is, a, is what triggers the webhook. In this case, when a service request is closed. Let's take a look at the second workspace. The second workspace also has a JSON feature reader that reads topic message from uh, FME server. It has a file existence checker downloaded from FME Hub to check if a certain file exists in the ticket. And if it does not, it emails the locator to review the ticket. And here we have a series of creator transformers that create the elements of the PDF. Let's take a look at the layout of the PDF. We use PDF page formatter transformers to build the layout. The layout has a title, a logo, customer information, a map, a legend, a disclaimer. And on the second page, we have information of the ticket, any remarks or comments noted by the locator, a disclaimer, and a footer. So let's go back to the workspace. Here we have a series of uh, attribute creator transformers and text adder transformers to build the text for the layout elements we saw earlier. This section of the workspace has all the API calls to extract the information based on the request ID. Here we see a series of HTTP callers and JSON extractors to extract the information we need. Here, we are extracting the comments, the customer information, and the custom uh, fields of the ticket. All the elements are styled using a PDF styler for font and size. The PDF is written using a PDF writer and is then emailed as an attachment to the requester. For reference purposes, the locate report is also attached to the service request using an add attachment call. Let's go back to our presentation. So that you can see the result that the locate report is attached to the service request. Now let's go have a demo. Here I have marked this email as unread for demonstration purposes. And you can see these are the custom fields that were built in the template. We have an XML attachment and an image attachment. The XML attachment also has uh, the same tags, same information in the email. The ticket should be read any moment now. There it is. Let's go see the topic monitoring. As you can see, we just received an email with the attachment 1 as XML and 0 as the uh, image. 
and let's go see if the job has been completed. You can see that the locate service request has been uh, completed successfully and now we can go to CityWorks to see if a new ticket was made. So this is the new ticket that was just made. You can see the ticket is uh, priority is categorized. The X and Y are converted to NAT83 UTM zone. The image is attached and the custom fields are populated. So once the work activity is done, the locator would add, attach an image to the service request and capture any comments. Once the comment is saved, the ticket is now ready to be closed. And when we close the ticket, the webhook triggers the message on FME server. FME server should now have a new service uh, a topic message. And then the job should run You can see that the locate report uh, workspace has run successfully. And now let's go back to the ticket. It now has an, a, a locates report attached to the ticket. And let's see if the email got sent successfully. Here is the latest email that got sent. And here we can preview the PDF that was generated. It had the logo, the customer information, map, and legend, and the information from the custom fields in the ticket. It also captures the comments that were noted by the locator. And that's it. Let's go back to our presentation. So the results are we've automated the creation of locate service requests and automated the generation of customer report and email it to the requester. Since in, it's been a year that we've uh, automated this solution, we had about 9,000 e -locate service locates requests. That's an average of 600 per month. Using FME com uh, combined with the API helped us build a cohesive solution with little to no manual intervention. The results are amazing. These are the comments uh, that we had from the business unit. It takes time to master the API calls and understand how to decode information from the calls. It's an iterative process, and one of the things I found helpful was to use third-party applications like JSON Lint and Postman to build and test your calls. An FME community is your go-to for resources, knowledge base articles, and troubleshooting advice from a broader user group of FME experts. And we did download FME uh, custom transformers from FME Hub. In a nutshell, if you wanted to build the solution, these are the things that you might need. A service request template, API access, a message queue for webhooks, and FME server publisher privileges and UNC path locations uh, of the images. To conclude, FME has helped us solve diverse data problems here at the city and continues to be an invaluable tool to tackle everyday data problems. Thank you so much for tuning into this session and enjoy the rest of your conference. Here are some of our references. Thank you.